Sean, we promised yeah. we'd go across the country here. Sure. Legislation, yeah. really, the AARP yeah. is involved in yeah. with caregiving. Yeah, we're kind of shifting gears a little bit from yeah. a lot of the edu uh, education and outreach that, w that we're doing. But um, in addition, it's important for us, AARP, um, to, to be working on behalf of caregivers, fighting for additional supports and rights for caregivers. And uh, we've come up with some legislation really trying to support caregivers by improving uh, post discharge outcomes from hospitals, reducing uh, and costly and preventable hospital readmissions, and also just enabling people to live in their own homes where they want to be. Mm -hmm. And this legislation is called the CARE Act, and we've got a great little education video that talks about this new law in Oklahoma and the new rights and benefits that caregivers will now receive. All right, let's take a look. AARP went to work at the state capitol for Oklahoma to become the first state in the nation to pass the CARE Act. We helped pass a new law that gives caregivers more support when a patient is admitted to the hospital. And helps caregivers take better care of the patient after they return home. Here's how the CARE Act works. Designation. When a patient is admitted to the hospital, they can designate a caregiver. This could be your family member, like your daughter Sue, your best friend Sally, or even your neighbor Bill. Notification. Before the patient is sent home from the hospital or is transferred to another medical facility, the hospital must tell the caregiver. Consultation. The hospital tells the caregiver how to care for the patient after they return home. Things like giving medicine, changing bandages, and giving shots. The moral of the story is that the patient stays well, doesn't have to go back to the hospital or a nursing home, and can continue living happily at home. AARP will continue fighting for caregivers in Oklahoma. For more information, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash AARP OK. Well, th thanks for watching the video. It, I think it provides a good illustration of the, the new rights and supports. And this law also, a similar law passed in New Jersey. And we've got about a dozen states in, across the country that are pursuing the same state legislation. Mm -hmm. We've also developed a, 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 care, a capital caregiver program, and we've got recipients who are state legislators and governors in 18 states like New Mexico, California, Louisiana, West Virginia, that are, that are, that are legislative champions for fighting for additional policies and supports for family caregivers in their states. Mm -hmm. Another great outreach tool that, that folks may be aware of is, you know, uh, the country music legend, uh, Glenn Campbell. And we know that he's struggling with his fight with yes, Alzheimer's. He, mm -hmm. And he's got a documentary that's called I'll Be Me. And it was shown in Arkansas with his wife and sister and state director, Maria Reynolds Diaz. And they also uh, showed the documentary in Minnesota. Uh, with a panel discussion and uh, additional showings of the documentary will be in Virginia. But we'll, if you go to ARP.org slash RFD, you'll see a complete rundown of where the documentary will be shown all across the country. Wow. So it's a powerful document that really brings the idea of caregiving and Alzheimer's and uh, using a great country music legend who was born in Arkansas. Yeah, very good. Thank you. And Amy, with time remaining here, real quick, uh, your book, Juggling Work and Caregiving. Tell us about that and viewers and listeners where they can get a copy. Yeah, it's a free ebook right now that you can get at aarp.org slash caregiving book. I cover everything from assessing the situation, caring for the caregiver, health, finances, legal, if your loved one lives at home or in a facility, end of life, and life after caregiving, which we all need to be prepared for as well. And next summer, it'll be out in print.